The rhythm of life in this small Minnesota town has a steady beat, and you could say this woman sets the pace. Lee Doomer dreamed of a career as a dancer, but life took her in a different direction. Instead of starring on stage, she's created more than a stage full of dancers, more like an entire town full of dancers. Carol Evans Boyd Hooper travels the land of 10,000 stories tonight and finds a woman whose passion for dance has made nearly everyone in her town a little bit lighter on their feet. In Bird Island, Minnesota, manhood is defined less by John Wayne than John Deere. This is the worst part of it. Jake Erickson's journey from boy to man is baptized in field grip. It's a lot of work. But born in work boots, kids in Bird Island are not. Five, six, seven, eight. Those must be earned. By any normal Prairie Town standard, Bird Island and Barishnikov should have only alliteration in common. But here amid the cornfields, dance lives. Right, right, slap, 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 slap. Planted and fertilized. Damn, back, damn, damn. By Lee Doomer. Grow up in Bird Island. One step back. And Lee will have you in tap shoes. All right, here we go. Before your first bike trip round the block. She said, Lisa, I want your son. <laughs> I said, okay, we'll talk about it. She said, no, I've got your son. Lisa Setsapat was a first grader when she started tap with Lee. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, my parents, my aunt and uncle took tap from her. My mom and my sister. And all my siblings and all my cousins. Spotting a trend? My mom took tap from her. All right, I am ready. This year, Lee is teaching tap to 130 kids. Yeah, look at you. 130 dancers in a town of 1,200 people. That may be more tap per capita than New York City. Look at all these shoes. The basement of Lee's home is both shoe store and studio. This is it. Its walls a trip One, two, through 48 years of Bird Island tap. These kids are all grandmas now. Probably like my second show. And a lifelong obsession for Lee. I don't remember when I didn't dance. Push, pull, stamp, wait. Lee's passion for dance was easily quenched. Jump, cross, jump, boom. As she moved to New Orleans and Minneapolis in the late 1950s. Toe heel, toe heel. But when fate sent the man who would sweep her off her feet, yeah. he was a handsome gas station owner from Bird Island. After we got married, I... I really missed the city. I just didn't know what to do with myself. You know, I just wasn't very happy. And my dad asked or told me, he said, why don't, why don't you teach dance? Yeah, go Blake. Thus began the 48 year transition from frustrated okay. big city girl. All right, goodbye, Excuse sweetheart. Me. Love you. Love you too. Mm, okay. To small town dance instructor. What do you have in your shoes? So dedicated. I have it done. She can't bring herself to retire. You're doing a good job. She probably knows more about me than my parents. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I guarantee you. Oh, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. So beloved. She uses it every night. Her dance family's bought her a jet tub. Comes in the bedroom where I'm laying, and she says, I had a great day. So much a part of Bird Island. Yep, this is it. Sheila Sims is sitting in the rain. Everybody, come. <laughs> two and a half hours before Lee's annual recital. Usually, there's a line all the way down to the end of the building by the time they open the door. Oh, God, every year I worry about the weather. Lee needn't concern herself with what? the rain. Yes, I do. All right, who was really first? A hurricane off Buffalo Creek. Your baby's dancing for his last can you believe it? Couldn't keep her crowd away. Enjoy Tap Jams 2009. The Twin Cities has apartment buildings with more people than the whole town of Bird Island. Yet on a humid summer night, an audience of 600 happily resides in the Bird Island School Gym. Oh my God. Hidden among them, oh. Lee's original 10 dancers. Oh God. <laughs> now dispersed from oh. California to New York, but back together. When did you plan this? For the first time in 40 years. You taught us so much. Thank you. God bless you. I love you all. Now a smidge into her 70s, oh, no. Lee just keeps seeing little reasons.
this can't end yet. It's like the best thing I've ever, ever, ever been a part of. Really seriously. I love you. I love you too. Because they love us. It is rare in the land of 10,000 stories to see so vivid an aggregation of the influence one person has had on her town. Oh, I love you. John Deere may have tilled the world, I love you, but Lee Doomer so has grown well. something and beautiful such a good job. in Bird Island. Hi, honey. Yeah. Honey, get over here. Could have used her help on my wedding reception, <laughs> that one two bit. You can mark your calendars for Father's Day 2010. That's June 20th, the date for Lee's next tap recital. And as you know now, the good seats do go early. Boy learned about this story, by the way, in an email from a viewer. And if you have an idea for Boy, just go to care11.com, then click on extras, and then look for the link to the land of 10,000 stories. To get all those teenage boys to say, she knows more about us than... To say anything. To be in tap. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, it's amazing. It's a heck of a tribute. Whew, it's fantastic.